Okay, today's science video comes from Sandy Hook, New Jersey. So we're talking about living systems um, and how they work together. There's interchangeable parts that work together. So here we go. Here's an example of a community, an ecosystem. I'm on the bay side of Sandy Hook, New Jersey. And we're looking into this little waterway and we see that there's many different creatures that are working together to keep this ecosystem going. So this is an example of a living system. Over here, we have lots and lots of snails. If you see here, the, there you go, see? These are all alive. These are all living snails right here, you can see, okay? So we think of what is their purpose in this ecosystem. We have osprey um, that live on these tall poles made by the Boy Scouts and they fish here. Everything has its purpose or place in this system. Here, you see this shell, you see this hole. You probably have been to the beach many times and you've seen shells that have a perfect hole in them. That's actually made from a moon snail. The moon snail drills with its tongue a little hole into the shell and then sucks the contents out and eats them. And so when I was a kid, I'd be like, hey, wow, this will make a perfect necklace because it has a nice hole in it. Yeah, well, that's because the moon snail ate the contents. So I want you to think, I want you to look around here and say to yourself, what kind of living systems are working together to make this area work? Okay, I showed you the snails, there's little fish, there's crabs. How is it that all of those parts are important to this ecosystem? So that's something for you to think about and then leave your comments. Hey, stop throwing rocks, man. Then leave your comments under the video in the Google Classroom. Peace out.